In this webcast, you're going to discover how to be more productive and get more stuff done in less time. Let's go. Hi everybody, this is Antoine Dupont with Catapult Marketing and this is webcast number 15. We've been doing this 15 times now. And today I have Francis Wabe with Two Time Labs. Hi Francis, how are you? Hi Antoine, can, can everybody see me? Oh yeah, oh, I, I, can see, I can see you. So um, Francis, please introduce yourself to um, the uh, hundreds of people and hopefully millions who will watch this video uh, later today or in the future. Um, who you are, what you do, and especially what is your favorite Jamaican food? <laughs> favorite Jamaican food, okay. Um, so I'm Francis Wade and I own a time management and productivity company called Two Time Labs. Mm -hmm. It's actually a part of my bigger company, but a focus area of my consulting work for the last um, ten, almost 10 years or so. And we've, I've, I'm an author of a couple of books, mm -hmm. programs, online programs, a lot of online content, and I've brought a lot of research and so my, a lot of my own experience, actually, because I moved back to Jamaica from living in the U.S. for 20 years. So the move from the U.S. to Jamaica, is what was the, that was the spark that got me going in this direction. Um, because I came back and struggled, and I, I, I needed to figure out why. Mm. And my favorite Jamaican food, because I am broadcasting this from the hills of St. Andrew, Jamaica. Uh, my favorite food is oxtail. Huxtail. Oxtail and beans. Oh, yeah, you, every Jamaica knows about that. <laughs> you, got, you got my mouth watering now. Uh, you're making me hungry. So what I'm getting from you is you might be the, a good person for uh, uh, time management or what we call like time-based productivity. It's more like productivity that we're talking versus time management. It's time-based productivity, right? Right. Time actually can't be managed, but that's the, that's the phrase everyone uses. Time management. But I don't use the phrase unless I'm talking to an audience for the very first time. Okay, very cool. So that that's that's the thing. So um, I obviously as a uh, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur that uh, has a very busy life in managing uh, my business, public speaking, uh, personal life, and clients, and traveling, and all that. Uh, anything around productivity or uh, wasting time on stupid stuff is um, I'm all ears, and I think a lot mm -hmm. of people out there are going to be all ears. And um, we talked before we recorded about um, uh, three mistakes that uh, entrepreneurs uh, are doing around time-based productivity and, um, and, and obviously a fix, you know, like, okay, so you're doing this as a mistake and, you know, here is what you should do instead. So the first one you said, like, that we don't need to be able to detect limits on our productivity. Tell me more about that. So most entrepreneurs don't come straight from college. They actually have a job with a regular company uh -huh. and they start doing a business on the side. And what they don't quite understand at the very beginning is that the, the methods that they use, the approach they use to manage their time as an employee is very different from the methods they use to manage their time as an entrepreneur, as a solo, as a freelancer, as a business owner. Mm -hmm. And Here's, here's the problem they run into very quickly is that they try to create and accomplish and complete more tasks than they have hours to complete. So we have 168 hours in a day, in a week, sorry, and they have more ideas. If you have the drive to be an entrepreneur, chances are pretty high that you're self motivated, you are a little bit type A because you're driven, mm -hmm. you have a lot of energy, and you're very, very creative. So you routinely come up with hundreds of hours of tasks <laughs> and you want them all done by next week, Friday. And the world just doesn't work that way because there are hard limits to what you can accomplish in a short space of time. So yeah. what? The, so the, the, the crunch comes upon the entrepreneur. Some don't make it past the crunch. Um, they give up the idea because they figure they can't have a job and have a family and have this entrepreneurial venture on the side because they, 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 it feels like it's too much. Mm -hmm. The thing they don't know is that the symptoms of trouble 
mm-hmm. start to forget things, um, skipping important commitments, mm-hmm. arriving late, feeling stressed, mm-hmm. um, having a, your email inbox overflowing, mm-hmm. um, not going to the gym, I, work I, life I, balance. I mean, have you been spying on me or something? Yes, I was talking to Colleen Earl and she got <laughs> <laughs> But these are all these are all symptoms, early warning signs that what you need to do is to do an upgrade. So here, here's a little bit of history. Mm. We learned the concept of time when we we're about eight or nine. We start creating something called a time demand. So a time demand is a promise that you make yourself to do something later. Mm-hmm. So before the age of about ten, you don't make these time demands, and starting at about that age, you start to make them. And the first place that you save them is sort of in your mind, in your memory. Mm-hmm. But at some point, for most people, you outgrow the use of memory because your memory just can't keep up with the volume of time demands that you are trying to execute mm-hmm. and to manage. Mm-hmm. So you start to use paper. That's usually our first resort. For you and I, you know, we're we're you know we're not young, right. so we didn't use a smartphone until well anyway, right? Or later on in life. But when we were younger, there was lots of paper, right? So, right. you know, someone told you or you saw someone making a list and you decided to try paper. Right. That upgraded, got upgraded over time to using digital means like a digital task list or a digital calendar. Mm-hmm. So those upgrades are upgrades that some people make for themselves. Many people get stuck at one level, however, and many entrepreneurs also get stuck mm-hmm. because they need a productivity system that's suited for the entrepreneurial life not one that's suited for the employee life. But they don't know what to do to make the jump to the next level so okay. they can they can get more things done in a shorter space of time. All right, so what should I use uh, for me? So you're saying that calendar, a digital calendar might not be the best use of, uh, of my, or, or, is, or is that the upgrade? Well, it's actually a whole continuum. I'm, I'm sorry, we don't have a picture up here I could show you, but in the very beginning, you start off with a mental calendar. People migrate to a paper calendar. Mm-hmm. I remember when I knew you, I used to walk around with a big old planner. Uh huh. I did that, that too. Was, that was... <laughs> I still, I still have it in the closet, by the way. Yeah, it's got a is. zipper around it and everything. That was the first upgrade that we made. Uh huh. Second upgrade was to perhaps use a laptop. Uh huh. Then a calendar on a smartphone. Uh huh. And then most people get to the sort of very interesting point where managing their tasks in a to-do list Mm -hmm. becomes overwhelming and then they need to make a jump and here's where it gets really interesting because things have changed in the last couple of years Mm -hmm. it used to be that if you're an entrepreneur you're really pressed for time and you had lots of time demands the only option you could do was to move to using a calendar of all tasks Mm -hmm. so this is not for everyone this is not advice that everyone should follow but if you're someone who's using a digital task management system and it's not enough you find that there's still lots of mistakes. Mm-hmm. Chances of the upgrade you need to make is to a digital calendar. Do away with the list and put all of your items in your calendar. Mm. That's the next upgrade. So that's the upgrade that I got to well to <laughs> there we go, paper. <laughs> <laughs> so that's okay. the upgrade that, that, that I got to the level that I got to when I wrote my book two years ago. Mm. And then something new something new came out. Right. So about one month, yeah. literally one month after I published my book, a new technology, a friend referred me to it, something called an auto scheduler. It runs alongside your calendar and it optimizes your calendar for you on the fly. Mm. So I use one of these suckers now. It has AI and the cloud and mobile. And so what's the, na- what's the name of it again? The one I use is called SkedPal. Sked? S-K- SkedPal. S K E D P A L dot net. Skedpal dot net. And just so that you know, I'm uh, transparency. Mm-hmm. I'm no uh, uh I work for the company now. After using their product for about six months, mm-hmm. I now work for them as a consultant. So I have mm-hmm. a vested interest in the company doing well. Well, you know what, but it's it's fair game. I mean you're you're a time based productivity guy. Thank you for the transparency. So if any of you is going to look into it, know that uh, Francis Wade is soon going to be uh traveling in a private jet plane. Um any day no. Any day any day <laughs> now. So we, we appreciate and we're we're more than willing to uh uh, you know, participate in your uh, in your business venture. That that's that's how it, that's how it goes. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's 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 
you know, it's really interesting what you're saying because I, it's one of my struggles. And it seems that in my life, I just... I, I, it just keep it builds, it builds, it builds, it builds, it gets crazy, crazy, crazy. And then it comes to a point where I'm in complete overload. I feel all stressed out and I almost need a half a day to a day to reset and then reprioritize everything I have to do and put it in a calendar. And then I feel like the pressure off my shoulders. I know like I've prioritized things and I put it in my calendar and then you know over time i don't know how long it takes i would say about three months so it seems like you know the quarterly thing and it goes back to you know uh putting it on the list and right. you know all the things i have to do and and i right. think you're, you're absolutely right this is just i'm refusing to upgrade to put it in but a no, calendar uh, the other thing that you said which not actually refusing, like i'm not blaming you for it because it's not it's not as if you're bad and wrong no no no, no, no i know i know i know i know i'm okay. i'm human i'm I, I think everybody can relate to that we're all right. human and we all like you know I'm, I'm old school i have multiple pads i have tiny one like this i have large pads i mean i have three around me that i have <laughs> that have three different purposes um but the the thing that you you said is uh, really hit me uh, strong because I'm 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 guilty of that is underestimating how long things take, um, right? You know, just blocking one hour to do this, and then also you know packing things like one hour, one hour, one hour, not giving right. myself time in between two tasks to sometime reset. You don't give myself half right. an hour to just go get a cup of coffee because otherwise it, it's it's I mean, nobody can, you know, work really. Uh, the truth of the matter is nobody can work eight hours straight. I, I read right. somewhere that our productivity is around like uh, three to four hours a day maximum. Like that's right. really how much we're productive. And we have a tendency to think that we are a lot more productive than that. And the, the truth right. of the matter, we're it not. It's time to recover. Right. right. Uh, the other the, the right. thing that I said, I want to add to this is that I say that being an entrepreneur is a part time job. You only work 12 hours at the time. The only 12, the other 12 hours, you do whatever you want with it. Right. Which is only part of the time. Anyway, that's a bad joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So mystic, let's go it's to only mystic. 24. Right. So, so mystic, mystic, the mystic number, number one, one like, was. You don't know. Right. That is upgrade so that's that's the, the the cycle that you described that you're in mm -hmm. that it hasn't I, I would say maybe you're having this mistake because you you haven't you haven't yet gotten to the sort of this realization that i need an upgrade mm -hmm. you're using the same system and which is why you're repeating the cycle every three months mm -hmm. the first sort of realization is i need a new system which means a new set of habits practices rituals and tools mm -hmm. so you need to almost go in there and change your behavior and the tools that you use to support them mm, yeah habits mistake. you know putting a habit yeah i'm I, okay I'm, I'm actually i'm in a process of starting new habits with what i'm doing and uh and and right. i have implemented some which is with exercise and and i've right. been um i mean so this is great so this, this that was first mistake and i think this was a pearl for right. a lot of people is uh right. you overestimate how much things uh take Put right. in the calendar and upgrade to a tool like SketPal uh, to you know help you with prioritizing things and just getting th things done. The mistake number two, so this was great. Mistake number two is you say we don't need to be experts at diagnosing productivity problems. So tell right. tell me about that. What do you mean by that? Right. So if you if you had the the wherewithal, like a you know huge a huge chunk of money, you may hire someone to come and diagnose. Like I could, I could fly to Florida. I could hang out with you for a week and I could tell you what you need to improve by observing you. Mm -hmm. It would take you a long time. It would take me a long time. I would leave with a lot of your money. But even if I were right, I wouldn't leave you with the ability to diagnose your own behaviors. Mm. And that's the big missing. That in order to move to the next level, you need to be a detective of your system. Mm. A good detective. To figure out where the weaknesses are so that you can make the upgrade on your own without my ever getting to Florida. Mm. So this skill is one that entrepreneurs also need because the only, uh, as you look to the future, I bet you can imagine that there's only going to be more demands on your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you increase the number and as you become more ambitious, as mm -hmm. you become more successful, mm -hmm. you actually will need to continue to evolve your system. Mm. 
make the changes like the one that we rec- I, I mentioned before, the ones that are appropriate for you. Mm-hmm. People don't know how to make these changes, so they get stuck at one level. Mm. Now, to make those changes, you don't need to be an expert. You just need to teach yourself some of the, the, the techniques and tools to diagnose yourself. And they're actually part of the program. They're in my book and in my training programs, including the one I think that you have on the screen there, My Time Design Plus. Mm-hmm. They're a way of doing a self-diagnosis so that mm-hmm. you can figure out where the, the – the, and, and this is the unfortunate thing, is that your system, anybody's system, is usually not a complete mess. It's usually a, a Pareto effect. There's 5% of your system that's not working. But the question is, which five? Mm. So if you can find the five <laughs> and make the habit change, change the tool, maybe. Mm-hmm. And usually it's not a tool change, it's a behavior change. Mm-hmm. Finding the 5% is the key. And mm. that's what the second mistake is that they don't get that they need to develop the skill of finding that 5%. No, five years time. When you're a billionaire in 10 years' time, mm-hmm. you have the same problem. It's just it'll be at another level. Right. You'll still define the 5% you need to change in order to keep up. Right. I, I remember uh, 20 years ago when I was a, you know, a young uh, business owner and, you know, and I was thinking, you know, when I'll make that kind of money, you know, all my problems will be solved. <laughs> and, um, and I make more money than I thought I was going to make 20 years ago. And none of my problems, they've just expended with me. They're different problems. <laughs> But none of them have disappeared. They're just new problems and uh, and whatnot. Um, right. You know, one of the things. One of them. Yeah, one of <laughs> yeah, one of them. But one of the things I actually have noticed, um, and I was just thinking about it over the weekend, uh, making a video about it, is how um, I will call it waiting to be distract, um, um, uh, waiting to be distracted. I am. Uh, waiting to be distracted. How do you mean? Um, dis- no, distra- distracted, waiting to happen. There you go. Sorry. Oh, I'm, yeah. Okay, good. I'm, that I'm that dis- communicates. Dis- right. Distracted, waiting to happen, which means that right. I'm on task, I'm doing something, and then something happens. Like I get pinged. So I have right. Skype that's on where there are people that are pinging me. Then I have Google Hangouts. A lot of my team is actually pinging me on that. I got my phone. Right. I get text. Um, right. I'm going to, you know, I have to go someone say, oh, check out, you know, this client's Facebook uh, post. So I go and and look at this post and then all of a sudden I'm seeing that I have six notification in my personal thing. So I go and check what that is. Um, and it's just like, I mean, it's just a completely like, I, and it just I have to reset the whole thing. And I was just like, um, you know, and then sometime like I go on Facebook and that's going to take me to a video that is going to take me to a news article. And then I'm like, right. I don't even know how I got there. And I'm like, it's right. like 30 minutes later. Um, right. And, and it is, I, I just want to I'm I'm going to go out on the limb that distracted waiting to happen is not something that I'm dealing with. But it's something that all of us out there are dealing with because I know that all of you have a Facebook page, you have text, you have messenger, you have all this stuff and you're just as distracted. Do you have a, do you have a recommendation for us? It's like, yeah, yeah, go, I'm, yeah I'm there, there is. So for, for many entrepreneurs, this, this could be the 5% that mm-hmm. they need to tweak now. If not, no, it's, it's going to be in the near future. So there's a way to manage your environment. So you enter what's called the flow state. So there's a great book that came out recently by um, Cal Newport called Deep Work. And his essential thesis is this, that if you chase after notifications, you won't get to where you need to get in terms of doing your best work. Your best work comes from pre-planning what you're going to do, shutting off all the distractions around you, mm. entering the flow state, which is was discovered by a, a psychologist called Mihai Csikszent Mihai. Mm-hmm. But in the flow state, you give complete attention to one thing. You, you, you remove all the distractions. In other words, you manage your laptop environment so that there are no distractions, no pop-ups, no pings, no, no buzzes. No, you remove your smartphone or you put it on mute. Mm-hmm. You close your door, you turn off your phone, and you devote yourself to doing one thing. And then when you're finished or you get to the point where you're so tired you can't go any longer, you take a break and then you go on to the next thing or continue the same thing. 
and you enter the flow state again. So you can do this about four times per day before you run out of steam. But those four hyper-focused hours or hour and a half or time period. So you're talking about, like you you're talking about nine, 90 minutes a like period? A 90 minutes? Yeah, sure. It depends on the individual. Right, right. It's not a set number. But the, the, the quality of the work far supersedes anything else. Mm. And then you, when you're done, set a half an hour to deal with all the distractions. That's when you catch up with email, text messages, Facebook messages. Mm. But they don't inter they never interrupt your best work. You know, it's, they only it, come after. Yeah, it's it's funny because one of the things I have done here in my uh, I'm in a new building in downtown West Palm Beach. And um, right down the hall, uh, two floors up, there is a uh, lounge, and there's never anybody in uh, in that lounge. It's just a uh. just a meeting room lounge where you can go and have a private party in there. And I've uh -huh. used that I've used that space to rehearse for um, public speaking simply because I don't have distraction and I can right. be in, and I can be in a new environment. But I'm all, right. and what I'm thinking in that is like I should use that room more often to kind of like take myself out for a couple of hours, right. take my laptop, go right. and do something and then come back and then just say, OK, distraction, whatever. Um, right. And do that a couple of days because I, I'm not right. going to stop the distraction because it's right. just the nature of all we have. But I can actually isolate myself. Right. So that's great. That People is do great. that. People do exactly what you just said or they get there early in the morning. So they're. They're up doing work. I'm an early morning person, so mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. I enter the flow state, and I don't leave until about nine. Mm -hmm. So I can I can go straight until I you know I run out of steam. Mm -hmm. And I'm usually doing it's it's it always has this one thing at a time, intense kind of focus because that's where you do your best work and get the best results. Oh yeah, I, and I'm uh, and I can tell you that I've found myself sometime having five things going on at the same time. Like literally, right. like I'm doing five right. things. I got this troubleshoot here, this thing. I'm putting up a blog. I'm recording. Like I'm editing a webcast, and it's just like it's insane. <laughs> and I'm wondering why right. I'm stressed. Why at the end of the day? So thanks. So this right. was this was point number two that we don't need right. to be expert at diagnosis and and uh, the self awareness and and looking at that and isolating time. That's a great tip. And the third mistake that you talked about is that. Changes come from finding a new system or a tool. We kind of like touched on that, but that was the third mistake right. that you were to, to right. talk about. So tell me more about what you mean by right. changes so comes when, from finding a new system or tool. Right. So when lots of entrepreneurs realize that they something is wrong. Mm -hmm. So the, the first the first mistake is not knowing something is wrong. Once you found out something is wrong, okay, I need to second mistake, I need to do an upgrade. I need to change something. But where do I find the something to change? Well, most will chase after something like a new tool. So Apple is going to come out with a new iPhone iPhone in the next couple of months. So they'll chase after that because it has some new feature. They say, ah, oh, yes, that's the answer to the problem I've been having. That's why I can't get as much done. Mm -hmm. So they, they go chasing after the latest fad or advertisement or um, book or course or they, they believe that the, the, the answer comes from outside of them. Right. I'm going to get infusion soft, and from now on, I won't have any problem with my managing my, my leads, right? It'll save you, right. <laughs> but instead, where the best answer comes from is from inside of you because you're trying to find that 5%. So this is an ongoing quest. Where can I find a small tweak that will produce the biggest change? And the way to go, look for that. So I provide some resources that allow for that self diagnosis mm -hmm. when you do the self diagnosis you're once again you're looking for that small tweak to mm -hmm. make that produce that big effect most people don't need a tool like schedpal schedpal is for a small number of people who have gotten to the point where they have so many time demands that nothing else works there are lots of other simpler changes that they need to make and i lay them out in my book in in sort of granular detail mm -hmm. so that you can go from where you are now change five percent Mm -hmm. change 5% mm -hmm. and keep on making small changes at a time mostly around your behavior mm. so they, don't, they don't have a picture in their mind of I need to make small changes and the small changes come from this self diagnosis mm -hmm. it doesn't come from chasing all the stuff that's out there so it's really an inside an inside out change as opposed to outside in got it got it just find the 
you know, it, 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 I'm, I'm hearing self-awareness, having the self-awareness of, you know, looking at yourself and being honest and being straight and just right. saying, you know, like for me, like, you know, I am distract, distracting, waiting, uh, distracted, waiting to happen. Um, right. And um, that's just, you know, that that's that's just really uh, just changing that and not allowing that to be in my space by blocking some time. Uh, is great. So that is awesome. Now you mentioned a book. Where can people find your book if they want to buy it? So they can go to um, perfect http colon slash slash of course. Mm -hmm. Perfect dot mytimedesign.com. There's a short video that describes the book and it's available on Amazon. There's a new edition that I'm currently working on, but if they buy the book right now, they'll be grandfathered into the new edition if they buy the Kindle version. Cool. So I'm gonna put thing. the I'll put the link right there on the left. I'll, you, you'll see the uh, the link. Okay, great. So great. Um, you know you can uh, just go to that URL and um, and find it. And I'll put it in the YouTube also in uh, in the uh, in the comments. Uh, right. It will yeah. be in the uh, in the links below, so they can go and find out about your book. Um, the self-diagnosis, what you were talking about, I think that's very interesting. Is this on this uh, on this website that we're looking yeah. at? Yeah. So this, this website is it, it has my training on it, which is it includes much of what's in the book. But if you want more than just dry text, mm -hmm. this has videos. Uh, there's an interactive group, and there's access to me, and there's all sorts of things that make it a more holistic training experience. But if you if you click over to so this is the very front page. It has three tabs. The front mm -hmm. tab, mm -hmm. it has a video that describes the program. And then if you see that diagram right below, mm -hmm. the free mind map, mm -hmm. that mind map is like a, a, what's the word, a directory or an index of all of the contents of the training. Mm. Got it. Uh, got so it. the training oh, and, is and you're not even, comprehensive. Because, yeah, and you're not even ahead. asking for uh, an email or, or anything. You're just giving it, uh, you know, right free and uh, right there. Right, like, no, you know. This is, this the training is, is not for free. I don't want to mislead you. No, 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 no. But if no, you click no. to the, your your your, your <laughs> good you your good looks and your smile is free, right? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. If you click to the second the second tab, interaction two. Uh huh. So that has an interactive video. Okay. Very Hello and welcome back. Ooh, okay. If you've already okay. seen and video number one, on just a little I'm going to pause there. this. Okay, great. Scroll down below that a little bit more. Uh huh. It says click to download the forms for flowing. So this particular interaction right. has to do with what we call, what I just call the flow state. So right. here there's actually a self-diagnosis that's built into that page. Mm -hmm. Remember I said sometimes the, differ the difference, some entrepreneurs need to know how to enter the flow state. Mm -hmm. Right. These are, the, these are the forms. On this, if you take this interaction and you actually use these, diagrams you can actually do the diagnostic for free starting right now there's i think a 15 15 question questionnaire and it's followed by these forms and you can understand how to get into the flow state that we talked about the thing that you're trying to accomplish by going over to that empty room mm. hello and welcome back Ooh, okay if you've already seen that video sorry it just it's yeah it makes complete sense this actually is awesome. started it. <laughs> yeah it started and again, if you go the, to the yeah and the third one you go to the third tab uh-huh so the third tab has some program details, uh -huh. but and it also has some testimonials and some details about the program. Okay, great. So you can click here and go sign up for it if anybody wants to. But Perfect. what you get from it is a comprehensive way to find the 5% that you need to improve. And it's not going to be the same as you can imagine. It's totally different for different people. All right. But it's access to that small tweak that will make the biggest difference. So that is really awesome. So if you are a uh, entrepreneur, a business owner that is uh, struggling with a thousand and one thing uh, burning on your plate every single day, you're stressed out and you don't really know how to get to the other side. I think this would be a great program for you to look at. Uh, because you're not talking about altering uh, your entire lifestyle, but just looking at that five right. percent change of behavior that would actually make a huge difference. Right. Uh, I, I think this um, this is a great program. So I'm, I'm I, I hope that uh, a whole bunch of people will will check it out and uh, will take advantage of uh, of that. And um, and I think we got a lot of value for people. And like we've been talking for close to thirty minutes now. Um, and wow. I think this touches to all business owners, 
uh, that are all there. So I want to thank you for coming live from Jamaica and uh, being. And I think we got a lot of value for people. And like we've been talking for close to 30 minutes now. Um, wow. And I think this touches to all business owners uh, that are out there. So I want to thank you for coming live from Jamaica and uh, being with You're me. And this, yeah, this is really cool. We've known each other for, for I, we, we were just talking before the call, I think for almost 20 years. And we've always stayed yes, in touch I... with Facebook. And we've known uh, right thank goodness for facebook that's how we're able to, that, that to is, stay this close that is very cool so uh, francis thank you so much for uh for sharing your wisdom and helping us uh, business owners and entrepreneurs um you know just being more productive and it's not a, actually i'm going to say it's not about being more productive is is um no, actually it is more productive but it's, it's, I, what, what's there for me is just be less di distracted and being more focused um right. and uh and and you then, for you that would be that tweak that would take that you would, to yeah that's and right. in five years time it will be a whole different tweak but the game is to keep finding the five percent okay well francis thank you so much i uh i'm really looking forward to i'm going to actually uh look into your course and uh thank you so much for uh spending uh your time with us thanks once more it's been a pleasure all the best all right. au revoir, au revoir. <laughs> Hey guys, so if you like this video, please take a moment and just click on the like or subscribe or just share this video or you can put someone's name in the comments so they can actually watch this video. You know who we're talking about, that person that just actually drive, runs in circle and, and is crazy. They need to watch this video. Um, and if you have comments uh, for either myself or Francis, just put them right below. Just type your comment. I'll do my best to answer it as quickly as possible. And if there is a comment for Francis, I'll reach out to him and make sure he comes back and answer it um, if you want uh, some free content and subscribe uh, to my uh, e-newsletter you can go to my website at antoinedupont.com and just subscribe it's for the whopping price of free 